Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Goosebumps the Game. Let's continue with Lesla Dump, shall we? I'm not gonna explore that yet. Not feeling brave enough. Use the massage. You climb into the massage chair, check in every few seconds to make sure no one's watching. Nobody's watching. Ah, that's nice. Facelifter. The sign implies a strange machine is a facelifter and that demonstrations are free. There is no way you're going to put your face into a machine called the facelifter and turn it on. <laughs> that freaking cop was right there too, what the heck man? Coffee recently, and they don't look very good at it. 
there's crusted stains all on, all over the mug. You don't want to touch it. Okay, look at the controls. It's a really complex control panel that operates different systems throughout the mall. Use the controls. Messing with this might do more harm than good. We should focus on the fountain for now. Oh. Look at the monitors. Each one of these monitors is linked to a security camera somewhere in the mall. Examine. You sit down and focus on the screens. Phones. A clear view of the public pay phones near the food court. Bookstore. This seems to be the bookstore. A figure is staring directly at you. Is it Slappy? It probably is. It looks like. That's his body shape. It kind of does look like Slappy. Kiosk. This camera is focused on a big empty space near the massage display. Maybe it got knocked off center? Maybe? Note. Last sighting is scribbled on the note. It's probably talking about me. Found. This camera's found. Wait, what? What am I reading? Sorry. This camera is watching the fountain at the center of the mall. It's full of coins and water. It's a work order involving the candy store. Please complete the removal of the door between Cavity City and Bone Chilling Books. Oh. It's hidden at the moment, but it can still be accessed from Cavity C City's register. Okay. You decided to keep the candy store member. Yeah. Report. This looks like an official report following the shoplifting incident. The suspect was female, green hair, suspect wearing red dress and heels. Sounds like a colorful character. Yeah, apparently. He's still the shoplifting report. Cars. Somehow, against all odds, this magazine survived when faced by the internet. Impressive. You rolled up the magazine and find a place for it in your pack. Look at the photo. A photograph taken from security footage. It's a curly haired woman in a sun hat. You check to make sure nobody's watching, then casually slip the security photo into your bag. Look at the note. It's a small security memo regarding the hat store. While the manager is on vacation, the owner of the kiosk has agreed to lock up each night. Okay. This camera is watching the fountain at the center of the mall. It's full of coins of water. Oh yeah, I remember on my last video or last two videos that I tried to get the coins and my character said, ouch, and the water was too hot. So maybe this will take care of it? It's, a, it's the switch that operate the fountain. You should be able to drain it from here. Okay. You press the button to drain the fountain and watch on the monitor as the water lowers and disappears. Okay, good. Let me save my game. I hear that static. I mean, I hear the radio chatter. Chair, a very well-worn chair with comfortable-looking roofs. With that, with a pop that howls your stomach, the world goes black. Oh no! What the? Someone or something must have severed the power line. Dark. You creep down the path to the right. There's something lacking behind you. Okay. Let's get out of here. There's something lacking behind you. Okay. I don't trust it. Oh my god, I'm scared. I don't like the dark. I don't like red eyes. Where'd I go? I don't know where to go. Ah! Oh my god. No. No. You poorly chose that last turn led directly to a dead end. Oh no. So, how do I do?
do this. I don't know, this is... Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My pause screen messed up the game. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Jeez. Oh no, here we go. I don't trust this. Uh -uh. Nope. Uh -uh. I don't trust this. No. No, no. These garden gnomes are too scary, too evil. Uh uh. No, sir. No, ma'am. No. Get me the F out of here. Thank God. Thank you, God. You emerge from the corridors at the far end of the mall. You lean against the door. Haggard breast wrecking. Racking your chest. Oh my goodness. I am not a fan of that. I do not like that at all. Oh, we can take all this stuff. Stalking me. Good. Fountain's been drained. Good. Oh, he's in the candy store now? With the donut, too? Come on, yo. <laughs> Man, I do not like this. This is... Dang it, I know this is supposed to be scary for children, but this is... This crap... I mean, this stuff still scares me. God, freaking Revenge of the Garden gnomes, man. Great, I'm never gonna be able to look at the tra Travelocity gnome ever, the same ever again. <sighs> look at the arcade game. It's Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Can I play that? It takes a minute for you to figure out what you're supposed to do, and as soon as that happens, you die. Aw. Oh. Well, at least, I, at least I tried. Legend of the Lost Legend of the Lost Legend is a classic hack and slash brawler set in medieval times. Yeah, let's play that. We select the dwarf because of his truly epic beard. <laughs> the stage opens on a battlefield. Arrows Arcing in the background? You move to the left. Several bolts bound on screen. They seem like a low level enemy, so you attack. They barely fight back, and each one goes down after a single multi hit combo. One of them drops a bag of money, which you pick up. You spend a little more time exploring that screen, but a big annoying arrow appears, prodding you to keep moving to the right. You reach the edge of the and two more kobolds appeared, this time flanked by a goblin archer. Play continues like this for a while until you eventually run out of energy and you've got pretty far. Not bad. This looks like Dance Dance Revolution. It's a popular surfing game called Ghost Beach. Let's 
try it. You're pretty good at this game. You're able to dodge 35 ghosts before wiping out. Okay, not bad. I can't click on that. Hold on. Look at the ski ball. It's ski ball. You love this game and you're really good at it. I love ski ball too. Last time I played ski ball wasn't like Chuck E. Cheese. You step up to the ski ball machine and rub your hands together in anticipation. Ticket slot. When you get a high score, price tickets pour out of this slot. You can redeem them for prizes at the counter. Okay. Coin slot. You insert coins here to play ski ball. Look at the score. Landing a ball in one of these hills holes scores points, either 10, 20, or 50 points, depending, depending, sorry. Scoreboard. It's a huge dig digital scoreboard that reflects your ski ball score. Let's uh, play some ski ball. I need something to calm down after that scary behind darkness and freaking evil gnomes. Each coin clatters down the slot. After a moment, five balls drop into the chamber with a very sharp crack. Ooh, okay. It's, oh, use. Let's roll it here. You bowl the ski ball down the lane and watch the anticipation. Huh, not bad, 20 points. How about, how about, let me try this area. Come on, give me 50. Aw, oh, 10. Uh, that's okay. Come on, give me 50. 50. 50. Uh, 20 again? Uh, that's okay. Either 50 or 80 sounds amazing. Come on, 50 or 80, come on. Mm, not getting lucky on this thing. Not bad. Not bad. I'll take these tickets. Congratulations, you scored. Your score earned you nine tickets. You tear your tickets out of the slide and take a moment to fold them up into a compact little ticket pile. Alright, let's go to the prize counter. Huh. All these other ones require a lot of tickets, but luckily it doesn't look like I need any of them. Because all it says is look at the prizes. Yeah, I don't think I need any. I could get the jewelry though, but I need 35 though. Some cheap but cute toy jewelry. It's a bargain at 35 tickets. I am loving all these arcade machines. Ar arcade machine noises, I mean. Let's play a little bit more ski ball. I want some more tickets. Come on. Ugh. No, nah, that's terrible. Just stick to the middle. Oh no, I'm doing terrible now. That's what I'm talking about. 50. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, baby. Yes. It's my lucky day. Congratulations. You, your score earned you 14 tickets. 14. Wow. How many tickets do I have now? 23. Ooh, let's play one more game and then... One more game of this and then I'll end my video and then on the next video I'll get the um uh the fake jewelry and we'll keep on exploring this creepy mall. Come on. Okay, not bad. Better than 10. But 50 please. or 80 will be amazing, but 20 is good too. Okay, I'll accept 20, definitely, but please no 10. Ugh. How many tickets is that? Nine tickets. How much do I have in total? 32? Oh, I gotta play one more game.
Thank goodness I have tons of coins from that fountain. One more game and I should be able to um, get my uh, tickets worth. I'll just stick to the same lane. Fine by me. Okay. Come on. All right. A hundred, maybe? Sweet. Ten tickets. All right. You have 42 tickets. All right. Sweet. All right, guys. I'm going to end my video here. If you like this video, please give this video a like. Comment on this video on how you like the game so far. Subscribe to the channel to see more gaming videos like these. All right. This has been Gamer. Peace out. And I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Goosebumps the Game. Bye, everyone.